don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification hello guys how are you doing i hope you are doing well welcome to our youtube channel in the tutorial of today we are going to learn how to link bootstrap in django actually it will take us about two steps step number one is to download the bootstrap folder and step number two linking a bootstrap folder in html page we start with step number one make sure you have downloaded a bootstrap and it is in a specific folder this folder is in md vendor it contains bootstrap source code so i copy it then i go to the django project this is my project it is named ml i open my project this is my app inside the Django project. It is named comment. Then I open it inside Django app. I create folder named static. Then after inside static, I create a folder with the same name as my app name. Comment. My app name is called comment. Yes. Then after inside comment, I paste my bootstrap source code. Now this is vendor. Inside the vendor, there is bootstrap. Inside the bootstrap, there is bootstrap 4 and bootstrap 3. This is. So after downloading bootstrap and storing it in project folder inside our, ne our app, we are going to, to link bootstrap in django so this is my app called the comment this is my project named as ml so inside my comment app i go to templates then i open another pro folder named the comment here there is more.html then i open it right so here at the top we need to load the static files load static control s after that we need to link bootstrap right put bracket percentage sign static single quote then name of our app then after vendor then after boots bootstrap bootstrap then after for then after css then bootstrap dot mini dot css it should be like this right control s to save the changes and let's refresh our page now you can see we have successfully linked the bootstrap in django now you can see our form is looking well so this is folder which contain bootstrap 4 but also there is a folder which contain bootstrap 3 you can copy it also here then put here bootstrap 3 yes then control s you can refresh your page but it is looking the same right here any project this is up this is static this is folder then a vendor here there is bootstrap bootstrap 3 and bootstrap 4 so actually so far we have done an actual action of linking bootstrap in django right here we can we can maxima you can we can do something like this you know it's looking awesome actually that is an end of our tutorial thanks for watching do not forget to like put comment share and subscribe for next video updates goodbye see you in the next tutorials don't forget to subscribe and turn on notification